My name is Jim Reese, and I'm the co-founder of Cisco. We are a uh, software reseller, very similar to what you saw just previously. In the States, we're a gold reseller. We specialize in MEP, and we've been working in the MEP market for 12 years as a uh, reseller, and most recently involved in development, involved in uh, creating Cisco, which is a red add-in. Um, so what we've developed basically is a Revit MEP content that allows us to do Revit for fabrication, prefabrication, and installation. And what we've seen in the past is Revit models that are very generic in nature, and we take those generic models and we detail them out. CNC manufacturing, uh, pipe fabrication, I've got some examples here as far as what we're up to, what we're doing. Um, uh, a lot of people within our company come from the MEP. Myself, I worked as a contractor for about six years before selling software and got involved in, uh, in the sales side of it. So you'll find that throughout our trainers, installers. I know that the Division 15 uh, is speaking here. They're a customer of ours. Uh, we did probably did their installation for them. I quick looked at some quick notes before coming in here. So um, we created a company that supports our CISQ product, which is called Building Data. And building data basically catalogs and captures parametric three-dimensional data and appends additional data into that. So that's very uh, boring stuff. But if you want to draw something and have the eye and BIM model it, draw it, what do you want to call it, you need to have more information that supports that. And that's what we do. We, uh, we do the dirty work of the MEP work, which is creating the content. So this is an example of a, uh, a screenshot of our software. Uh, you'll notice that you've got uh, pipe, duct, hangers. We've been working with Trimble back when MEP division, before the MEP division was created. Um, we worked with them. We were the first ones to sell the MEP uh, Trimble Total Stations Unit. Got heavily involved in that. So as far as a workflow, one of the people came by the booth earlier and asked me, you know, whereabouts do, who uses your software? And what we see here on the left-hand side, you've got the design, applying the means and methods, and then you have the right-hand side, the uh, construction side of things. And essentially, when that happens, could happen design build, design assist, or it could happen you know, plan spec further down the road as far as when uh, those designs are actually created. Currently now, the current state of things is we use Revit and we go to CAD. And as, it, as those means and methods are applied, the design data is basically thrown in the rubbish bin. Okay? And what we'd like to do is we'd like to preserve that data on the design side for things like facilities management and all the things that we're trying to do, all things BIM, past what happens in construction. So what we've done is we've been able to preserve the design and then focus on adding the construction detail, connectors, hangers, joints, fabrication, all those things, gauges of material, uh, conduit schedules, things like that, and maintain that data going all the way through. So I've got some examples of some projects. I actually have this one uh, in the booth. Want to come by and take a look at it? Put a uh, pretty good sized project here. This is the design model. You'll notice the duct work right there. Um, it starts. Uh, I don't know, probably uh, 20, 40 feet long, okay? They don't make duct work in sheets that are that long. Well, they do, but they're all coiled up. So we, uh, we unroll them into smaller pieces, and we put them through machinery, and they end up at about five feet uh, joints, okay? Give or take, depending on the connectors you're using. You'll see right there, this is the same model. Pace Collaborative's courtesy to give us this model. You can see that the joints are all divided up, the gauges are applied, the connectors are complied, the hangers are there for insert with the total stations unit of Trimble. And uh, that's a nice, uh, good sized project. I actually have that on my computer if you want to come by the office. Here's an, uh, not the office, the, um, the booth next, uh, next door. Uh, this is a project, Abu Dhabi. This is, I pinched it off the uh, internet. So here's a duct example of some large duct. That's the design model. We basically take that, convert that into the individual pieces. You can see that uh, right there. Gives you an idea of the scale and how big that project is. The last one is um, Samford Hospital. This is a Skanska project. This is an example of our piping and what we could do with piping. So this is the, the generic model. So in, in Revit, you know, it, typically it's just designing, designing the equipment, designing the, um, uh, you know, the air handler, the VAVs, and putting those into schedules, okay? Not much is really considered in terms of how we're going to actually get the water or air or electrical from equipment A to equipment B. That's what we specialize in. That's our data content that we specialize in. We currently manage 2.3 million items of MEP content. Okay, that, that is our service, that is our offering. Um, 
So what we do is we take that, this is a Victolic example, it could be weld, it could be polypropylene, doesn't really matter what it is, it could be waste and vent for that matter. You know, see right there the joints are, are created. We've got what we call a spool application for prefabrication. And here's the example of what that uh, prefabrication spool looks like before it's actually sent out. Okay. For those of you that are very into Revit, we're able to set view planes. We actually give ourselves some assistance to be able to grab that vertical um, dimensioning on those and horizontal. So here's just a couple different spools pulled out of that model. Okay. Nice size project that we're currently on. This uh, project, I believe, is in, in process now. So if the data data is not enough as far as three-dimensional data, we also have the cost data associated with these components. We've got the part number. We can go to procurement with the, uh, the part number, the weights. So in the back end, in the cloud, where we manage all this data, okay, we also contain all this information you're seeing on this boring spreadsheet right here. I can tell you what this is. This is a BOM that comes directly out of Revit that's size-based, which uh, is very hard to get currently today. So we've got different modules. We've got the uh, piping module. Here's an example of some prefabrication for one of our customers. A little eye candy for everyone, maybe uh, in substitute for coffee here. You can see basically that's basically put on a truck, goes out to the job site, lift it, put it in, and those multiple services go directly into the building. This has been taking place for the last, I would say, six years. We're being involved in prefabrication, seeing our customers, which are MEP contractors, going through and doing more and more outfitting of prefabrication and our data content supports this type of operation. One of the reasons I was here today was to talk to uh, evangelize our products. I recognize that not a lot of our MEP contractors are gonna be in this, in this crowd here, but we do recognize a lot of the GCs are here, and we wanna let you know that this is available, that Revit can do detailed construction type models. So um, this is a fabrication report for ductwork. You'll notice that um, all the details provided for the duct patterns, we currently output to uh, CamDuct, which is Autodesk Fabrication Products, and we also output to the Trimble Vulcan software that uh, Kip mentioned earlier today. So we're, we're kind of in a, in a strange position. We are a VAR, we're a reseller for Autodesk, we're a reseller for Trimble. Um, our software packages talk to both of those, and uh, we're basically dealing with the best technologies that we can in terms of what we offer uh, our customers. The data itself, I mentioned earlier, we do uh, 2.3 million items of data. So that means that if you go to draw a hanger, we'll have all the hangers in there for B-line, let's say, for example. So you want a V-hanger, a J-hanger, a clevis hanger, strut, whatever it is, we'll have it in there so you can end up purchasing that. Cut lengths and the upper attachments. Okay, slope pipe, not a problem for the cut lengths. Okay, we've been doing this for quite a while. Uh, again, I mentioned the bill of materials. We have a supports application, and all the uh, Cisco product is one product. So if you come to me and say, hey, Jim, you know, I really like what you saw. I like to get that 60 module. Can I get the pipe separate from duct? The answer is no. It's all in one. It's M, E, and P, um, with the one exception of supports. You can get supports as a single application, which will go on any Revit uh, pipe uh, com component. And you can get that on the Exchange App Store. We basically use that as an extension to show people what we do. Uh, and that's part of doing that. So this hanger application that you see right here, uh, if you're interested in getting that, you can get that directly off of the uh, Exchange App Store, okay? Spooling, this happens to be a spool pulled up. Uh, I put this into uh, 360. Basically a sheet view, viewing that directly. We do have customers that have gone paperless out in the field where they can actually view their spools in the shop or in the field in terms of what they're actually fabricating and building, okay? So I am... Uh, down here to the left, if anyone wants to get more de information about uh, Cisco and what we're doing for the MEP markets, by all means, come by and uh, say hello.